thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk with me today. This, just the two episodes we got, I was like, okay, I want more. Like, <laughs> it was so much fun. And That's I'm going to awesome. start off with, I've got to know. So I think it's episode one, but I saw that Maya and the three little Easter egg <laughs> going on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Are there a lot of like Easter eggs sprinkled throughout for Netflix stuff? You know, that's the only Easter egg for Netflix stuff, but there are like sci-fi Easter eggs, right? Like mm-hmm. that are in there. Um, that's the only one that's very purposely put there. That's our homage to uh, Maya and the Three and Jorge Gutierrez. Like they were kind of our surrogate production. <laughs> I, I I was working on Maya right before I did Dad and um, Jorge was like, really great to us and very generous so we owe they, a lot they to helped them. open doors for us yes yeah we owe a lot to those guys i love it that's a, that's a great series too so i was like so oh, excited yeah. i was like ah it's my the three <laughs> yeah. we love that in our house so i was like my kids are already going to be super excited so oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome that's awesome um, but i'd love to know like inspirations behind this because this is very cool to have a family show that like i can watch with my kids and i can yes. enjoy and they can enjoy and it's sci-fi which is like totally up my alley so like what was the inspiration behind all of this well I mean, yeah. yeah you could you could start no i just want to say like we are gratified so gratified to hear that because that's literally like that was the goal when we like sat down to create this we wanted that feeling of like you people wanting to sit down with their kids and watch it and enjoy it together and like go on this sci-fi romp so that's that's super gratifying but what are you gonna say pat yeah no i mean we that's kind of well on that same note like that's what we were talking about doing it's like hey I had actually resisted pitching a kid's thing for a while. I was pitching adult stuff because to me, it's like, no, they always make you dumb it down for kids. I told my, I, I remember what that felt like when I was a kid and I hated it when you would watch stuff where you're like, they think we're babies. It's like, we didn't, you know, you don't want to do that. But with this idea baked into the idea, there's so much adult possibilities for story because of him being a bounty hunter and what you can do with that. And, and Netflix really let us kind of go wild. Like I'm kind of amazed that we got yeah. away with this because yeah. um, normally in so much stuff in the show, you would never get to do like, um, and so, yeah, we really wanted to make something though that like, what would we watch? Like, don't, you know, Batman, the animated series and shows like that. It's like those people, they were entertaining themselves as well as kids. And like, that's the dream is like, like you can be, you know, doing something else and then get sucked into the show and be like oh this is i think i'm actually watching this like, <laughs> yeah because so many things like you put on for your kids and you're like eh. then you're on yep. your phone and you're not really yep. paying attention and yeah that, that's like you said not dumbing it down that's what it feels like you guys are giving kids credit yep. like, yes which i love because there's so much stuff that's like this is clearly for children <laughs> yeah. you know <laughs> like, yeah. and this is not that yeah. which is just incredible um and like let's talk about the incredible voice cast my oh, goodness mm-hmm. you've got like a mini community reunion over here mm-hmm. first of all <laughs> but, and, and I was like so excited because I'm excited for that movie but I was like man and they're both so good, good in this but then you've yeah. also got Priya who's incredible I mean literally yes. everyone in this was this like your dream voice cast what was it like yes. pulling all these people it actually was yeah like I mean there's some people that we you know you know, I wanted Priya from the beginning, like ever since I heard her in Stranger Things, I'm like, I want to work with her. She's amazing. Um, Last turned out in, like incredible, right? And even in, like Riggle, we did like, we kept referring to like, yeah, we want somebody like Rob Riggle, like a Rob Riggle type, because we didn't think we could get Rob, R- Rob Riggle. And then our casting, like our, our casting uh, person was like, why don't you just ask Riggle? And we're like, can we do that? Mm-hmm. And he was totally on board. And yeah, Laz, Laz and Yvonne are great. And I'm really glad that Laz make would that he make it's like that's a make or break role. If you don't care about the dad or if you don't connect to the dad, everything else falls apart. And he has that warmth with the kids. He has that where you like you buy it that he likes these kids. But you also buy it too if someone's messing with him. You're like, yeah, he could do something about it. Yeah. You know, and it's like we needed that, you know, he's got to have a little edge to him. Like yeah, be tough. And, yeah, he's got to be tough. And so, yeah, this is our dream cast. I mean, we, we are so fortunate and, uh, and we, di- and, you know, with talking to them, I think they were like, do you want me to like kind of animation it up? And we're like, no, 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 like treat it, treat it real. Like, um, and I think everybody, the actors really responded to that where they're like, oh, wow, you want us to actually go there? We're like, yes. Um, so that was really fun. 
I think that helps it too. It, again, Absolutely. it's the not dumbing down, right? It's making mm -hmm. it play real. Yeah. Um, was there a lot of room for improv for them or did they kind of just stick to the page? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. I mean, we definitely kept it open. Or like, if you feel, if they didn't feel comfortable with the read or if it came out awkward and we would tell them like, do you want to try a different way? And just let them say it the way they want. And it worked out great. I mean, and that's yeah. how we got, like, that's why I think a lot of the reads feel so natural is because mm -hmm. we kind of let them sort of find their place, right? And there's a lot of like, uh, you know, people are going to say stuff in their own words and stuff. And if you're, if they feel comfortable, you'll get that from them. Absolutely. And I, I loved the like wing hot, like I was like, I want wings now. Like I'm hungry. <laughs> like I, I thought that was such a fun, like it's a like wing place in space. Like what is going on? So um, random. which I think, you know, helps ground it a little bit, which I thought yes. was brilliant, brilliant move on you guys' part. Um, but then you get to see a whole lot of cool looking aliens at the side yeah. at the same time. So you just talk about like going into the design of did you guys just like have an absolute blast, like figuring out what these aliens were gonna look like? Cause they're some crazy ones. We definitely did. We kind of let our team go ham, right? Like we had we were we had this really amazing like biz dev team, and a lot of it like you know a lot of times you can assign stuff and assign it only to certain people, but we kind of like we kind of kept it open, like hey, it could come from anywhere. And there were some people who were actually kind of like shy about like, well, I did this, and we're like, that's awesome. We're using that, you know, like there was definitely I think like you know, when we were making this, this is pre Mandalorian, pre yes. some of the recent stuff that's come out. Um, so we were just seeing a lot of very serious yeah. sci-fi <laughs> that wasn't really fun and like desaturated colors and like, yeah. just kind of like, like not getting the fun eighties, like, like a, you want like a, you know, a little bit of that kitsch kind of like, yeah. they're just going for it. Um, yeah. And so we kind of made a lot of decisions of like, okay, let's do the opposite of what's in vogue right now which and like which no is gray kind of, ogres we're tired of gray ogres yeah <laughs> and more like more fifth element which is more playful kind of go for broke visually um and and bright colors like we just tried to kind of do what we we weren't seeing a lot of people do at the moment you guys have absolutely succeeded it's so much fun oh, that's you. my time they're telling me to wrap i feel like i can oh, talk to you guys hello. forever this has been amazing <laughs> oh um, thank you thank you guys so much i can't wait to see the rest of this it's gonna be fun <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, thank Tessa. you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all my monetary supporters, my members, and my Patreons. Love you guys.